Good idea, it's all that stuff so far for this laptop. The uh, biggest I can get for this is 2 gigabytes of RAM. One channel, 2 gigabytes of RAM would be good for this. I got the um, ACZ SSD, this brand's only a new, a new brand. Turns out this is a Toshiba company. Huh, what a fluke. I got this because it was the cheapest and the best quality drive for the price. Taiwanese made drive too. I always go for the Taiwanese made computer hardware because um, yeah, I've had quite good experiences with, with it. It's actually been um, a lot of the Taiwanese made computer uh, stuff actually uh, quite better quality for the price compared to the Chinese crap that's out there. Yeah, it turns out Toshiba company this brand. What a fluke. I've got a Toshiba SSD to match this laptop. How good's that? I'm waiting for this bloody thing to update itself. I'm going to um, uh, clone the um, hard drive over to the SSD. Because this thing only has one hard drive bay inside the laptop itself. You've obviously got to use an external drive case to do it. The uh, drive case I've got is an A-Stone. This is quite a good brand. Said it's waterproof, but I don't really think so. After pulling it apart and seeing how it seals, I wouldn't really trust the seals in there to get that much underwater. It's dust free, anti shake, it's good for dropping, so yeah, to a point, eh? It's okay for the price I got it for, since well, all the other ones, I could have got another one identical to that, but I'm gonna unscore it and score it and unscore it, same with that one, I suppose, but I thought, well, since we were looking at portable hard drives for my sister, and she saw, she saw of one of this case, so. I got this one, anyway, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's a fandangulous one looking at the whole damn ones that the store had and it, all the other ones I've seen on eBay as well. Although C-Tay had one where you could just click off the top like a cigarette pack and it folds off, no screws, just clip it off, slide the drive out and slide another one in, clip the top back shut on the end. Snappy for um, swapping drives out, it's good for that but yeah, I thought I'd get this nice pretty waterproof one, looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's a good brand. Designed in Australia, made in China. Compatible with Windows 7 and Windows 10. Up to 9.5mm. I have not ever, ever seen any of these cases that support a 2 terabyte less than digital um, laptop hard drive because they're thicker, got two platters in them. I've never seen one that sit one of those hard drives, so yeah. Okay, was a bit too short, but eh, what do you do? It's quick, snappy, and somewhat waterproof. I wouldn't say fully, but it'll protect your hard drive from dust and the mild shot. But don't press this, you press on that. There is a fair bit of clearance in there though. So you can press that down quite firmly and still not hit the hard drive. I do like that. I thought initially before I put it apart, it squeezed, oh, that's not very good. But upon pulling it all apart, the hard drive is pretty well protected in there, so they've allowed um, for that sort of clearance so you don't damage the uh, hard drive and snap the disc if you press the, the, um, the uh, front cover in. Anyway, new model. Yeah, got that. Wait for this thing to boot up and hopefully, and I think, I can't remember if Macroom reflected troubles going to an external hard drive via USB last time I did it. But I downloaded the 32-bit version for this uh, laptop. A dual core 32-bit CPU, yeah. Good for Windows XP, that's about it. In my, in my experience, anyway. Wait for it, and I'll start cloning it. Alright, well I'll use Macrium Reflect, and I'm getting the broken pipe power. Yeah, Macrium Reflect doesn't like bad sector hard drives. What the hell is the point of it? You want to recover and rescue your bloody computer, and back everything up to prevent it from losing everything. That's what the whole point of the backup and the clone actually is. If it's something like that was to occur, but no, nah, Macrium doesn't like that. So I tried our main, our main backup. This is a, I think it's a Chinese um, made one, this program. So if this is going to work, it's a lot easier, a lot less piss farting around, that's for sure. Now let this go, see how it goes. Hopefully it's going to be a, um, no nonsense, just get to the point and do it. Don't ask questions. So far, so good. 
time now. What the bloody other problem? It keeps getting stuck at 22%. Just like a um, cloning program. I am, I am, mate. I tried all of its features now. Gets stuck at 22%. It just will not bloody clone that drive. So I'm going to try the Highlands boot setting attempt and use Norton Ghost on it. Every desktop still loaded, I think. Yeah. I'm going to use Highlands boot setting and just clone it with Norton Ghost. Seems since that's the best option everyone uses. Funny annoying. Well, I think Norton Ghost is on here, so I'll just try clone disk 1.9.6. See if this tells me. Oh, where's the progress bar? Oh boy, it's not even responding yet. It's 17.2 gigs of data on that laptop. It's just the operating system and the bare minimum programs. No movies, no music, nothing, so it shouldn't take too long. 60 megabytes a second. 17.2 gigabytes of data. Should take at least, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe at this speed. Oh yeah, I like, I like it. good thing I have a spare machine like this, even though there's no hard drive in, um, uh, operating system on that hard drive in there. If I can't get a good operating system on it, if it's just a spare computer, it's good for this. Now, I've caught a, um, I'm not, I haven't looked into it, but I think somewhere in the BIOS in this laptop it can beat off a flash drive, but I'm not going to bother messing around with that. I'll just use this machine here. Just chuck the CD in and boot off the CD, it's easier. It should. It should support booting off flash drives. I was here, I was just supposed to bloody install stuff on it if you don't have an external um, optical drive. Anyway, let that go. When that's done, I've got to take the SSD out, whack it in that, and make sure it boots up a lot as it did before. If it does, then that Toshiba hard drive is going to get a good reformat and a good HDD regenerator from this CD and see if it does anything. Looks like it's mostly bad sectors, um, soft sectors. What? Okay, there was, um, it's not recoverable. Bugger! Conclusion, well, I don't know how they do it. I've been every try a thing on the internet that says I can create a media, a bettable media, onto the SSD using an external case. Did that, did that, followed all the instructions. Copied everything as it said to, using the command prop version and copying the shutter for um, ISO off the actual disk and made an ISO of the CD, suck it on there. Yeah, this just doesn't want to do it. It just keeps saying operating system not found no matter what I do. Now the uh, original recovery media is long gone. Um, yeah, the hard drive stuffed up anyway. I wasn't, I couldn't recover it. I backed up everything after that I could, but yeah. Um, external hard. I did an external hard drive to beat up an external hard drive, but apparently the netbooks don't support that. It's got to be off a flash drive. Just regenerating the hard drive, reformatted it. Using the good old HDD to be a generator. 273 bad sectors found in the cupboard. Look at that. It's gone better. It's gone from 10%, because it went down to 10% for a bit, then it went up to 17% now. Health now, it's getting better. But it's really kept more and more and more sectors. One pending sector left, and <laughs> that's it. Now that's all probably going to go up. But yeah, it's between 256 and 2560 spare sectors typical hard drives have that's how many spare sectors it's got so anywhere from that from 250 to 2560 so if that gets somewhere up to 2560 we'll know the hard drive has exhausted all of its spare sectors once it does that well it can only get less and less and less and less capacity lose capacity but yeah, that mustn't account for much health. It's actually getting better. I always thought it was getting worse because this number's going up, but hmm, this is a weird hard drive. But yeah, the amount of bloody time, 39 hours, come on. If it takes that long, it's not worthwhile fixing it anyway. Just get a new hard drive. Why does it take so damn long? I wish I would make something that would make it work quicker than that. 39 minutes maybe, that'd be alright, but no, not 39 hours. That's just not worthwhile, leaving the computer on for that long just to fix up a little bloody old hard drive. It makes it not worthwhile. 
you're buying all these spin right but you purchase spin right for nearly a hundred bucks it's not bloody worth it the hard drive's cheaper than that stuff like that should be freeware i mean that just annoys me anyway i've got um windows 10 iso on here let's see if it runs off this anyway i'm gonna mess around with this and yeah i don't like netbooks not my cup of tea anyway thanks for watching